So yeah, Lily, we've been hanging out a little bit. Honestly, she's really nice when she's not around the French kid, or I think she will be soon. The point is, it's been kind of a downer year and I'm just trying to go with whatever has the best shot at making me feel free. And yes, summer camp sounded sweet, but jet skiing in Jackson Hole with Lily from North High and her parents just makes sense. I think it makes sense. Yes, it's my first camp, my first boyfriend, my first time really going out for the lead in a show. <laughs> it's my summer first and I am so excited. <laughs> first mosquito. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping me and EJ would get to play leads together. You know, continue the romance into the showmance. Hey, you know, at least this way, I'll get a good part. So camp's a little more rustic than I thought it would be. <laughs> But hey, aren't we all entitled to a little bit of drama on audition day? <laughs> hmm. Do either of you have a phone on you? <laughs> can I, can I just hold it? Just for a second. <laughs> so the thing about me is that people sometimes call me an acquired taste, which is a fancy way of saying I'm not for everyone, which I pretend I'm fine with, like it makes me cool or something, but it actually, kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> there was this whole group of crew kids that I used to hang out with at Shallow Lake. Uh, one in particular. But they've moved on, and it's just been so long since I've had to make new friends. I just, uh, I don't quite know what I'm doing this summer. <laughs> Arriving late to auditions with a bang, blowing everyone away, pretending he's not a theater kid. He's like a little Ricky. Did you hear what she said? It feels out of character? Capricorn rising. Considered rational people reluctant to reveal their inner and emotional life. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now listen to this. Leo rising, what Maddox thinks I am. Likes to be the center of attention and get praise. Loves the admiration of others. Recognition gives them a boost. This is a spooky night indeed. I'm totally down to impress Corbin, but for me, this documentary has an audience of one. My dad's cool with me taking a gap year, but I just need to show him how productive I am. I just don't want any drama today, or at least as little as possible. What I've learned from teen rom-coms of the early 21st century, it's that the best way to impress slash bond with someone is to pretend that all their favorite things are your favorite things too. And according to Teen Slam Magazine's 2006 survey, Corbin's favorite colors are gold and black. And now, so are mine. Now, of course, I'm thrilled that Gina's gonna be close by, but this letter just came from my dad. Apparently, he's not okay with me taking a gap year, and he's sending me to the Caswell Success Training School in St. Louis. So now I have to figure out a way to show him that I can be successful without going to the school that he named after himself. Yeah, I'll tell Gina about this once I figure out a way out of it. Opening night is also my birthday, and uh, when I was seven, I wrote a bucket list of all the things I wanted to do by the time I was 18. Number eight on the list, hug a celebrity. I tried to hug Casey Stroh last year during Miss Jen's school board thing, but she disappeared like a beautiful mist. So when will I get another opportunity like this? I know my newly recognized Leo Rising makes me crave praise and admiration, but since Val put me in the ensemble, I'm convinced she hates me. I mean, think about it. The beautiful blonde declares her distaste for me, the main character. Like, is this act one of Wicked? Is she wicked? It's not for me to say, but I just did. Been in the business for over four years. Been an undergrad at Tisch, that's NYU. It's expensive and I did not get a scholarship. Point is, if things don't heat up soon, the only thing that's gonna be frozen is our ratings. Yes, I came up with that on the spot right now. I'm known for my impeccable straight dar, and Maddox is hardcore crushing on Jet, and he's clearly into her too. I bet that's why he ran away. He's so nervous he can't even be around her. 
because of the lust. Honestly, it's not like he was happy here anyway, right? Jet? Oh, squirrel. <laughs> he just said love, right? Yeah, I know, it's a song title, but <laughs> it sounded like... I, I didn't hate it. So, the way that Ashlyn is talking about Val sounds a lot like the way I used to talk about Madison, is all I'm saying. <clears throat> but Ashlyn said she hates people telling her about herself. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Which is famously hard for me. <clears throat> I'll tell her about the letter after the movie. I swear. <laughs> I can't let my friends down. Then I won't let Gina down. Caswells do mighty things. Yeah, funny story from last night. It looks like EJ is apparently moving to St. Louis for his gap year. I'm going to talk to him about it after rehearsal. But today, I am here to play Anna. I'm just gonna stick to the script. <laughs> and I'm realizing now I forgot to invite the girls to the pre-rehearsal meeting. They have no idea what's going on. I think I broke the children. Oh. That's why. So I learned something new about myself last night, and it goes a little deeper than a rising sign. It is possible that I have a crush on Valerie, the choreographer, and all that that implies. I suppose you could say my dating pool got a little bigger. And so did my heart. And so did my world. <laughs> Where's Gina? Gina is my sister. She's fantastic, right? I'm sorry, she said what? <laughs> Honestly, you come to Shallow Lake one way and you always change. EJ and I are in a really good place. We're solid. Yeah, I have a lot of questions about those two. It was a lot of new people this summer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because... Some more memorable than others. <laughs> I've never been to summer camp, and I'm open to anything happening. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> I, I've got a boyfriend back home, and I can't wait to see him again. Honestly, I didn't come here to make friends. I'm in love with the girl playing Elsa, and it's eating me alive. This summer is going to get hot. I have my eyes set on one thing this summer, and one thing only. And I'm gonna get it. <clears throat> Don't get me started. I'm Big Red, I'm Ashlyn's boyfriend, and I'm bi. <laughs>